So guys, just heading into Weaver's Park, trying to take it on Derry City. Not going to talk too much about the game because I've done a preview on the game itself. But just a couple of things I want to touch on, though, to be fair, uh, regarding the clubs, other things regarding the clubs. Derry City, of course, uh, announcing that they're going to be building a new 3,000 stand, which is fantastic. Be all out their money, own money as well, which is fantastic as well. So great news for Derry City and great news for the league in that manner too. I do think they have to win tonight, as I said in the preview as well. They just have to win tonight to have any chance of catching Shamrock Rovers. Um, I will give my prediction, say Derry 1-0, because that's what I said in the preview. I think they might nick it. But as far as Drotter are concerned, a couple of things. Obviously, the uh, announcement of um, you know American ownership is going to be investing in the club. Um, it's what Drotter are looking to do to move forward. I think they have to take investment at this point as well. Other little bits and pieces going to be in and around that as well. But... Obviously, their fans uh, getting banned for the Shamrock Rovers game as well, away from home, which is is interesting. Obviously, a linesman or official shouldn't be struck by anything in a football match. We know that, but I think it's a little bit harsh because I mean, other things have happened to other clubs as well, and is that going to be the precedent as well? If one person does that, as a whole fan base going to be, you know, uh, punished for it? Because most of the time, when people do that, they're not thinking of other people, are they? So I don't think it's the right thing to actually punish the whole fan base now. They're still going to appeal, so they might win that appeal. So we'll see what happens there. But yeah, it's an interesting one, but uh, not the biggest fan of it. Obviously, I not the biggest fan of officials getting hit either. So I'm just not sure if banning a whole fan base for something an individual might do is um, going to solve anything. Basically, let me know what you think in the comments about that. By the way, about the investment and in uh, that situation with Drottler with banning the fans, and if you're a Derry fan, also let me know. What you think of the comments regarding the new stand, etc., etc.? It's fantastic news as well. See you in Weavers Park.
Right, finished draw the United nil, Derry City nil at Weavers Park in Drogheda. And uh, I suppose less said about the first half, the better to be honest. Not much happened. McMullen, or Mullen, Danny Mullen, uh, forced a good save from Andrew Wogan. Robinson had a bit of a chance after a bit of a mix up in the Derry defence. Apart from that, not too much, too many chances. And half time, I felt to myself that, look, Derry, Derry need to show a bit of tempo here, a bit more. To their game here they need they need to try and win this football match second half we did see that we saw more tempo did a number a host of very good opportunities danny mullen had two great chances one header over the bar one shot where it came to him in space in the area and uh he shot wide maybe could have taken a touch other chances it was either todd or michael henny shane that is who hit the post for drop for Derry. sorry um, and they did have a lot of chances to play with tempo in the second half. Couldn't find the breakthrough that they needed. McGonagall another chance as well. And I think that's their title hope has gone, in my personal opinion. They needed to win tonight. Draw it up, as the fans said at the end of the video, or staying up officially. Um, they're always safe for me, but um, now it's official. Like, you know, they're, they're staying in the division. A chance near the end there where Marky ran through there after Derry lost the ball. Um, you know, <laughs> where they could have scored and Conor Keely had been sent off at that point. They finished the game actually with nine men because Marky was forced off and they had injuries. Um, or sorry, no subs to, to make. The no substitutes left. And um, I suppose they didn't create too much, but, you know, Derry will be very disappointed that they didn't win the game, I think, because they had a number of chances in the second half and it's not going to be enough for them, to be honest. Um, I think the first half passed them by, though, and I think Rory Higgins will be disappointed with that. But again, enough chance in the second half. Ultimately, all they needed was one. They couldn't find that goal. So, And that's the way it goes. Try to defend it overall quite well. Um, and as I said, to be absolutely delighted staying up. Seventh in the league at the moment as well. If they finish seventh in the league, it's a great season. Uh, I think I may tip them to finish seventh. I'm going to have to look back at that video. <laughs> but I think I may have... May have um, I'm not sure, 100% sure, but I need to have a look back at my prediction video to see. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. If you're dropping a fan, you must be very happy. Uh, punch above their weight in relation to the budget they've had. Let's be real. Um, Kevin Dotterty's done an, an excellent job following on from Tim, really. Um, you know, and, you know, it's, it's a club that I think allows a manager, if you like, to, to be able to do his job, put it that way. Um, as for Derry, Rory and Derry, I think will be disappointed. It's not over yet, but let me know what you think in the comments. If you're a Derry City fan, draw out a fan. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Hit your bell notification button so you don't miss a video of Cork and Pats on Sunday. That's going to be a vlog. And we leave it there. Good night.